Gaming Morning Show. Things put on pancakes and rhyming bear bear intros. Austin confused about whose sister married the bros. In the UK, dooley doo tugs on our heartstrings. Gaming Morning Show is one of our favorite things. It's Paul. It's Paul. Ah, who are we kidding? Pumpkin Spice and Paul. Paul. We all know our favorite thing is the season of Paul. Pumpkin Spice Latte Time! Besides the tasty drinks, the weather is cooler. We get the most time where it's cooled off, but it's not always rainy. Sometimes it's rainy for part of the day, but then it dries up and it's just a nice, cool, cloudy day. I like that. There's football on. Man, did we did we have a great football weekend. Uh, both of our teams performed to the tippy top of their tippiest top of performance. And... <laughs> Boy, football is fun. That's got to be enough for all of the hosts of Gaming Morning Show, right? Right? Okay, so when Club Penguin changed, they, like, changed everything. Like, they got more mainstream. And I wrote them an email. I was like, you know, it would be really nice if you guys could go back to the way things were. Because the original Penguins, we really miss it. I speak on behalf of all of the OG Penguins. And we all are really upset. Right, you've changed, man. You're the Lorax for Club Penguin. I was. <laughs> I speak for the penguins. <laughs> well, penguin begins with a P. So, happy Paul, everyone, from all of us at GMS. Broadcasting live from Redner's Rescued Cat Figurine Museum in Menemone Falls, Wisconsin. When Sean Redner told his wife, Hillary, that he wanted to turn their Wisconsin home into a museum of cat figurines, she had a predictable response. We're going to do what? We'll do that some other time, huh? Okay, then. Broadcasting live from the same places they've been since 2020. It's time for Gaming Morning Show. Morning. Gamer, welcome to this Gaming Morning Show. Thank you so much for being here, wherever you may be. Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and a Gaming Morning Show dot tv hefty goof that is sports.gaming on the left side of your screen it is gms on the road we are in seattle uh for the 487th time this week it's good to see you thank you for being here wherever you may be it's, it's gaming morning show uh Sh sean is not in seattle i mean it's true and and unfortunately the sad part is like you you were in seattle earlier but now you're no longer in seattle and i mm -hmm. left seattle and then decided to come back to seattle all the things that could have been you know what i mean yep yep next time <laughs> just we'll just move it, to seattle <laughs> it is good to see you though it's so i'm so happy you're here yeah me too sean is happy uh, to be here it is good to see everybody who's in chat this morning. Thank you for being along for the ride. Wherever you're joining us from, it is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Thank you for being here for the Friday edition of the show. <laughs> uh, we're going to get to some of your comments in chat already. I feel like I, I, I feel horrible already. I think we've thrown downs off more than we could possibly <laughs> thrown off. And as our head of uh, cartology and uh, diagramography, did I say cartology? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that the study of hearts? It, it's it's somewhere between uh, the study of maps and the study of hearts. Okay, somewhere in there. Perfect, fantastic. How about cartography? <laughs> cartography. Let's try that. And diagramography. Uh, we'll get to your comments in just a bit. It is good to see you see yourself on the uh, right side of your screen on this GMS on the road setup. A uh, very excited. To be with you uh, we have a fun day of the day coming up we're gonna have gaming morning show morning gaming news coming up at 6 25 a.m pacific time today and then of course birthdays this day in gaming history coming up at 6 50 a.m pacific time today as well uh, of course with all of our gms on the road shows if there's something that seems weird if uh, volumes could be better etc definitely let us know because we would like to make it as fun of an experience for you while we're away from the home studio at least on my end also a story coming up Sean, I like this one so much. At this hour, we'll tell you a story of, quote, the National Park Service telling you to never push a slower friend down during a bear <laughs> encounter. Yep. That's pretty good. Something something we didn't think we'd have to tell you, but in fact, apparently we do. So we'll have that story coming up uh, later this hour. Next hour, we'll tell you about the alligator that interrupts lacrosse practice, because that's also a thing that happened to somebody as well earlier. Uh, this week so that's coming up uh, in just a little bit thank you for being along for the ride um yeah so i'm up uh did basketball yesterday in the area and so uh was on the road for the 
second show and the third time of the five days this week. I can't tell you how excited I am to be back in the home studio for the whole week this week. Mm, uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, I'm going to be in Seattle three days next week. Would you like me to come with you? <laughs> I don't want to, but I would do it for you, Sean. <laughs> well, hopefully we can find a closet. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, this is not GMS from a closet, uh, sadly. I did survey the hotel a closet scene and unfortunately i didn't see anything that really met gms closet standards so unfortunately i am out in the open in the actual like space of the hotel room instead of finding a closet next time i promise i'll scout the closets at all the hotels a little bit better so that i have a chance to give you what you expect from us now with gms from a closet uh, excellent uh it is good to see your face so thank you for being here uh I hope your uh, Thursday went pretty okay. We uh, are going to play some Rocket League throughout the course of the show like we always do, but also some Friday coming up in the uh, final hour. I am testing. This is the exciting part, though. I am testing a uh, portable monitor for the first time, which you and I did play Rocket League from the closet on Monday, and that was kind of tough because every single button you pressed was like a half second delay. Which is, uh, you know, not a big deal in a game that requires precision driving and timing <laughs> piece of cake but if you exclude that <laughs> then it, it, it's absolutely <laughs> um, it is good to see uh, element of one in the chat this morning was first open things up at about three past six o'clock and then uh, i am jf town says is, is this new uh, it's finally Friday, according to uh, Element of One. It is finally Friday. What are your weekend plans? You can let us know about that over the course of our show as well. Uh, Downs says, I am JF Downs is I, me, I am JF Downs. I think this is third person. And then is wondering, is my background fake? <laughs> it does kind of look fake, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll make myself uh, the full width of, of the frame here. But yeah, it looks like I'm like basically hanging out in a stock lobby or something like that <laughs> stock lobby was my back band's name in high school <laughs> would you do me a huge favor if people just start having to walk back and forth behind me for no reason you know, mm -hmm. like extras on a movie set i'd really appreciate getting to know yeah yeah you bet <laughs> that's nuts uh, yeah I'll, I'll eventually uh show you uh, on on discord downs because Downs says it is really real Wow. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, so let's get you the days of the day and then our topic of the day because that plays into what Downs was doing uh, just a moment ago and talking in third person because, in fact, today is talking third person day. Among the days of the day, it's also Global Day of Unplugging, National If Pets Had Thumbs Day, World Wildlife Day, 33 Flavors Day. Sean, I have a question about 33 Flavors Day. I thought yeah. the whole thing with ice cream was there's only 31 flavors. Oh, this is uh, the, the rival um, uh, ice cream store. It's Raskin Bobbins, and they have 33 flavors. <laughs> Raskin Bobbins. <laughs> uh, they also are a sewing store for some reason. Nobody yeah. else wants <laughs> uh, They help with sewing. They also do fishing. It's an amazing place. It's a, it's a good place. A very versatile. Oh, good old Raskin Bobbins. Uh, it is also uh, National Pets Head Thumbs Day, which I mentioned, Canadian Bacon Day, Caregiver Appreciation Day, Denim Day for Dementia, I Did Rod Trail Sled Dog Race, the International Ear Care Day, International Irish Whiskey Day, Missouri Compromise Day, National Anthem Day, and National Cold Cuts Day. And Sean, having read all of those, I may not even be halfway through the list. There are so many days of the day there's, on this first Friday of March. There's a lot. And and looking ahead, uh, I did the next one. <laughs> yes. I'm on brand. Uh, nice work. Nice work. I'm not wearing my denim for Dementia Day, but it is good to know that there's mm. a day like that. So you can tell yeah. anyone who complains that you're wearing jeans today that you're doing it to help uh, support the battle against dementia. Yeah, I will be wearing denim today. I'm so on brand today. Well, look at you. Nice work. Nice, nice work. Uh, but today's topic of the day is a fun one. We are asking you the question, hey, it's talking third person day. So if you'd be so kind as to tell us. It's 
speaking of old stuff. <laughs> I really thought I had it this time, and apparently I didn't. So no, it's not National Old Stuff Day. Although you can tell us what your favorite old stuff is. Hey, Sean, my favorite old stuff is old topics of the day. <laughs> Restream really has a hard time letting go. I'm serious. I sat there this morning. I was like, okay, this is the one thing I'm going to get right today. If nothing else, I'm going to get the correct topic of the day in the chat feed. And apparently I have failed. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, let's ask you, though. Uh, hey, Ryan wants you, Sean, to give me your best sentence in third person. Uh, Sean doesn't know how to speak in third person. Sean only knows how to speak normally. I'm... Sean's terribly sorry. You know what just hit me? Is the person who's going to be the best at this is hands down Bear Bear. <laughs> and Bob. Bob Ooh, likes it. Bob. <laughs> Bob is very good talking in third person for sure. Uh, I do like Downs as though. I am JF Downs. Is I me? I am JF Downs. I think that is third person. I mean, can we start off any better than that? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That is really good. That's really good. So that is your topic of the day. It is give us your best sentence. In third person, if I were to give you my full-fledged best sense in third person, it would be the following. Hefty Goof is incredibly good at rolling his R's. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, so we'll tell you more about why this is a day of the day for what it's worth, by the way. Uh, Elements plans this weekend a uh, bit empty, but we'll attend a church movie night. They are showing Princess Bride. That's a winner. Nice. You know what that movie is? It's a classic. It surely is. It surely is. <laughs> Did you know that Mandy Patinkin plays Inigo Montoya in that movie? Hmm. I did not. Did you know that Robin Wright plays Buttercup, the Princess Bride, in that movie? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, for the rest of my life, those will be two of the biggest and weirdest revelations that I had way far later than I should have over the fact that those two were in that movie because I had no clue that it was them at all whatsoever. It's amazing. It's pretty good. Yeah, Princess Bride's a winner. I hope you have fun. Y'all miss my my sentence. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, this is more from uh, Quiet or from Element of One rather. Uh, and then just church Sunday volunteering for our church preschool. Did I miss. Oh, I missed your third person sentence. Element. Element loves I am JF Downs, and Element cannot wait for I am JF Downs stream later today. <laughs> Uh, nice. There you go. Uh, JF Downs will be streaming around 12 p.m. Pacific time. But I can tell you, Sean, is the uh, new monitor looks amazing and crisp. However, finding a Rocket League game is proving to be a challenge. As, as it does. We're the only ones playing Rocket League today. Yeah. Everyone jump on the, the Rocket League bandwagon. And I like how this is always the case. As soon as I say something, of course, that it jumps in. So, all right, here we go. We got a game of Rocket League. We'll get the news, the gaming morning show, morning gaming news coming up in just a bit as well. Uh, thank you for being here. It is the Friday edition of the show, uh, gaming morning show. So uh, it was a good drive. And I decided to work a little bit closer toward Oregon, too, on my way home. So uh, I'm kind of already farther that way than I, I usually am. So that'll be nice. It'll be a shorter drive coming home today. Nice. I don't know how good this Rocket League gameplay will be, but I can tell you that when I hit my A button, the actual uh, thing that's supposed to happen when I hit the A button actually happens. So that's very exciting. That's a good start. I'll get in there. Nice. It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold, Jack. And there's wolves.
Uh, chat, if you can help me out with game volume too, and let me know if uh, game volume is too quiet, too loud. I definitely appreciate the feedback. On that. Too quiet, I am game volume. <laughs> I like how there's enough of our audience regulars who have wonderful names that go into almost any sentence. Right. Get in there. Did that was a very similar goal shot? to mine. <laughs> Did you see the shot I just pulled off? I juggled this ball. I up over him. Over their head. Oh up my over him. Gosh. <laughs> He's that nuts. new monitor is amazing. <laughs> Help with my gameplay. <laughs> and it's so funny too because I'm getting a little bit of like desync as well as we go along. And still, maybe, maybe that's why it actually worked is they had no chance to stop me because they couldn't actually find the ball. Oh, the AFK card blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so nuts. That might be my best goal ever in Rocket League, which is so sad. Oh, and Joey lost connection. Come back, Joey. No. <laughs> Joey's like, that's the most perfect save I could ever have. <laughs> I'm so impressed by that goal. I'm just like giddy. <laughs> did you clip it? <laughs> yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> I, I have to keep that goal. It's so good. Oh my gosh, if that's not clip of the day, I don't know what can be clip of the day. Except it's also very early in the show and probably something other wise chaotic will happen. Nice. We are nuts. Look at that this. That was pretty good. <laughs> Look at this team chat. Are we debuting for Rocket League champ? Well, I don't remember what their championship series is. <laughs> you were close enough. I almost called it Global Rocket League Championship Series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even outpacing the opponent for orbs. I mean, this is nuts. I'm moving at a different speed. Do you finally see the code? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Neo. He's nuts. Oh, nice what work. Is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I've never played Rocket League in this <laughs> level. <laughs> You're making everyone leave. Man, you won my forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, hey, you're MVP. <laughs> if you had that on your card, I don't know why you did because there's no reason to think I would have an MVP. <laughs> uh, the teammate or the opponent that had the highest score had 74 points, and that was Joey who left. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is nuts. Good. 379 uh, points in a game that ended like what with two minutes left yeah i'm excited to get demolished every other game today that was our this, one this starts tonight this is a revolution <laughs> right here that's happening with old hefty oh my god <laughs> uh thank you for being here chat it's 6 26 west coast time it's 9 26 out east and it is 2.26 for those watching GMS in the UK. I will tell you that the other bonus of having the uh, spare monitor is uh, being able to actually get us out of the game so we don't get thrown into another one. I'm doing better with that already. Oh my God. Nice. Uh, thank you for being proud of me, Element of One. He's nuts. He's cracked. Cracked. Uh, it is good to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's get the video game headlines you need to know. As always, we do this every single show with uh, hashtag video game expert. Of course, here's Sean. Good morning. It is uh, Friday, March 3rd, 2023. And this is your gaming morning show, morning gaming news. Um, it's March. And so that means Mario Day is coming up. For those that don't know, Mario Day is March 10th. Uh, because if you shorten March to M-A-R and put 10 afterwards, it kind of looks like Mario. So that's Mario Day. And Nintendo's played into that over the last few years. Um, and this year we're getting a Mario Day Switch bundle that's coming out. It's a choose one Switch bundle and it comes with a free game of your choice. Um, choice of three different games, that is. Um, 
This is from ONS Good of Polygon. The console comes with your choice of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, or Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, so you get the console with red controllers and you get to choose one of those three games to have for free. The bundle sells for $299.99 and is going to be available through the My Nintendo Store online or through select retailers, um, which ones do not know. Uh, the console itself is uh, the basic black with a pair of red Joy-Con controllers. It also comes with the dock. Uh, it comes with all that fun stuff. Um, so you can check that out. If you're in the market for a Switch, this might be a good way to, to do it as you get a free game, which would be great. Mm. I, I have already learned uh, since we started doing the show that Mario Day existed. So that's one thing that I never knew prior to starting to do Gaming Morning Show. So... Yeah, it's, it's fun that they do different promotions and they build different things around it. So here's yet another mm -hmm. example. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and I do, I like the console with the red controllers. So uh, that's the one I have. I got mine with uh, Mario Odyssey back in the day and it came with red Joy-Cons. So big fan of those. So now's your chance. I think it, it should be the OLED model. I think that's the only one they have, but it doesn't have that branding on the box. <laughs> So, and it doesn't mention it in the story. So I'm going to assume it's the OLED model or otherwise they found some non OLED models in the back and they're like, oh shoot, we forgot to sell these. And this is how they're going to do it. Well, like I said something generous of Nintendo, which is, oh, they're doing this for us. But in reality, it's because they had back stock. And <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll see, but uh, I still think this is a pretty good deal. Uh, in our next news story, speaking of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Actual segue, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wave 4 arrives next week. And we have some details on that. This is from Ryan Densdale of IGN. Um, it's coming out, wouldn't you know, on March 10th, on Mario Day. Um, the trailer is also um, out. You can check that out. It shows off the eight new tracks that are coming to the game alongside with uh, the return of Birdo as a playable character. The eight tracks featured in Wave 4 are Singapore Seedway, Bangkok Rush, Amsterdam Drift, all from Mario Kart Tour, Donkey Kong Summit from Mario Kart Wii, R Riverside Park from Mario, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart DS, Waluigi Stadium from Double Dash, and one brand new track, Yoshi's Island. Um, Birdo is also coming back, and as uh, you can check out Birdo's vibrant colors, it'll be a medium weight class racer alongside with Mario and the Inkling Girl. Um, the 8-tracks will be available as part of the $25 booster course pass, um, but not as an individual add-on. So pur purchasing the DLC also grants users to the 24 previously released courses and another 16 later this year. This game is going to have so many courses by the time they're done with it. What's your favorite Absolutely. course? I don't remember because there's so many, I can't even tell you what they're called anymore. I don't, I like the one with the turns and the cars. I do admit that I didn't realize, I saw this yesterday uh, on social media, I didn't realize Yoshi's Island is a new course. So, yeah. that's kind of cool. Uh, is that, that is little cool. Yoshi's running around all over the place? Presumably, uh, out on an island. Who's there? Just Yoshi. Just Yoshi on an island. Maybe a volleyball named Wilson. <laughs> That's the way. Yoshi. <laughs> Um, well, I'm I'm excited to uh, play these Mario Kart courses at a later date. Uh, speaking of play date, actual segue. Stop this. <laughs> uh, play date is getting an update showcase, which is going to feature new games and more next week. Uh, the play date, if you don't remember, is a tiny little uh, Game Boy esque console that came out in the last couple years. And on the side, it has a little reel, like a kind of like a fishing rod. Um, and then it has a D-pad and an A and B button. Um, and it's a little little guy um, that has a bunch of small bite-sized games that are playable on it. Um, it uh, came out last April, 
I believe is when it started shipping out. Um, and it, it's, you know, it's not much because it, it's it's little. It's basic games, kind of old school Game Boy style games. Uh, but people that have gotten their hands on it have enjoyed it quite a bit because it's, it's kind of a... Uh, a novelty item. Um, well, now it's going to get more games available on the hardware. Um, next week, March 7th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, they're going to air a showcase. Um, they're going to reveal new Playdate games and more. The presentation is going to run for about 13 minutes and is going to include an update on the catalog, uh, which includes their own curated on-device and web browser storefront for Playdate software. Um, so you can check that out. If you haven't seen it before, now's a really good time to check it out too, just because it's it's a pretty cool little little guy. Uh, it seems like something that if I had it, I'd play with it, play through all the games once, and then it would sit in a drawer somewhere, and then they would do this and come out with more games, and then I'd pull it back out, play all those games, and then it'd sit in a drawer again. Um, but the time it was not in the drawer would be fun, I'm sure. It's your, uh, we're taking it out of the drawer event. Yeah, exactly. It's like the uh, Volkswagen sign and drive event. It's <laughs> smaller than a Volkswagen, which is a car. So a I will say a uh, wall stormer from IntelliGame uh, showed me one of these. And, yeah, it does look really cool, but it's that specific type of game that you'd want to be interested mm-hmm. in playing. And I think your synopsis is, is fairly accurate for how I would treat it too. Where it's like, oh, this is really cool. And then I'll put it down for a while because already my backbone has sat for over a month. <laughs> That's because... <laughs> Apex Legends Mobile, so it's not Backbone's fault. But hey, we'll see on the 7th. Maybe they're announcing Apex for the Playdate. Play <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. You never know. <laughs> um, well, I, what I think is cool, if I remember it correctly, all the software is just free. I think once you have the device, all the games that they put out for it is just included. Um at least the ones they are curating. Um, but I could be wrong about that. But we'll check it out. We'll take a look uh, at all the cute little games next week. Um, and always last but never least, we finish off today's Gaming Morning Show Morning Gaming News with the World Renowned segment within a segment where we take a look at what is out today. Like, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is out on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PC. And for the most prestigious award in video game focused morning shows, your favorite segment within a segment within a segment. Today's name of the morning goes to Patch Quest out on PC. You don't seem thrilled about the amount of uh, games that are out today. It's, it's pretty light today. That's okay. Nothing well, I can congratulations do. Congratulations to Patch Quest, which is your name of the morning. It could become a GMS name of the month it just depends on how the dominoes fall we can tell you that early next week we'll reveal to you what our january name of the month is because i'm uh, sorry our february name of the month is we had our january one which was named clunky hero we played it for the final time on the show yesterday and then we'll have a chance for our patreon subscribers to win it immediately if you want to be part of that patreon uh name of the month giveaway you can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash gaming morning show 30 of you already patreon subscribers uh, there will be no show after the show today just because we're on the road but usually fridays after the show is over we do the show after the show and you can be part of it uh, but big thanks to all of you who have already become patreon subscribers and congratulations again to patch quest out today for pc for being our gms name of the morning and thank you to sean for the gaming morning show morning gaming news appreciate it uh, it is now 6.36 on this morning radio show that plays games. Uh, I will tell you that uh, being on the road and getting everything set up is quite the endeavor, but it is also super fun to like look around and be like, okay, what can I use for softening the sounds? And so <laughs> I will tell you that right now I have all four of the bed pillows in front of me to try to like soften nice. the sound. And that's less to do for us and probably more to do for hopefully the neighbors that are right next door because i didn't want a morning game there them to to be awake this morning but what if what if they liked it what if they heard it and they're like gms is on (laughs) uh good morning to our next door neighbors it's good to see you thank you for being here 
Um, no, it's been a fun show so far. Uh, and we still have uh, birthdays of Stain Gaming History coming up in about 10 minutes from now. So if you have a birthday to celebrate, please let us know. We'll have that on the way. We'll play some more Rocket League next hour, a list of the day among the other things that we will do. Uh, more days of the day for what it's worth today because we told you that it is a hefty list today. It is pretty hefty. Uh, National Dress in Blue Day, National Employee Appreciation Day, National I Want You to Be Happy Day. It's also National Jackson Day, National Moscow Mule Day, as well as National Mold Wine Day, National Rita Day, National Robin Day, National Soup It Forward Day, and National Speech and Debate Education Day. So those are among some of the days of the day <laughs> that are happening uh, on this Friday, March 3rd, 2023. But yeah, Mel B., uh, good morning and nice chat to you, Mel B. Thank you for being here this morning. Nice chat! Uh, we appreciate you stopping by because you did say that Sean's complying, and you even look like you had to have like a, a navy blue on today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a nice navy blue, and uh, um, I don't have denim on yet, but at least the pajama pants I have on are also blue, so good backup plan. You heard it here first. Sean wears denim pajama pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft denim some would say the reason that you wear denim pajama pants is because it's in your jeans like part of your DNA alright 637 on this uh, morning radio show that plays games <laughs> it's time to uh, track what we're uh, well tracking at this hour <laughs> On a gaming morning show. Thank you for being along for the ride. Uh, that is not the right one. How about this one? GMS at this hour. Uh, this story is pretty good because this story has to do with uh, something that I remember hearing as a thing, uh, but didn't actually believe uh, when I used to hear it. And that is the idea of not being the slowest when it came to being in an, an attack with a bear. But apparently, that is possibly just a farce. The uh, story from Ben Hooper of UPI reads that the National Park Service has offered some sage advice for park visitors who encounter bears, saying, quote, never push a slower friend down. Thank you. As the slower friend, I appreciate this. (laughs) The uh, National Park Service said on its official Twitter account that feeding another human to a bear is never the answer. Quote, if you come across a bear, never push a slower friend down, even if you feel the friendship has run its course, the NPS <laughs> tweeted. He replied to the tweet, asked what a park visitor should do if they are the slower friend, to which the NPS said, check in on the friendship before you head to the woods. Okay. Uh, seeing a bear in the wild is a special treat for any visitor to a national park. While it is an exciting moment, it is important to remember that bears in national parks are wild and can be dangerous. The NPS shared a link to a page of bear encounter advice, which includes hiking in groups, packing, uh, rather picking up small children, and keeping food away from the animals. So good. Don't push, don't push your slower friends down, please. <laughs> yeah, whoever whoever they hired to be in charge of this Twitter account uh, is doing a fantastic job because that's not the only uh, funny or ridiculous tweet that that account has put out so it's a it's a good follow if you uh if you want to go see more fun national park humor but have you've heard that advice right where or it's not actually it wasn't advice it was just like hey you don't have to be the fastest person when running away from a bear you just have to be faster than the slowest person yeah i originally heard that as um sharks and swimmers I, my middle school science teacher used to tell us that he says you never have to out out swim a shark you just have to out swim your friends but I, again I, well it is true but I <laughs> say it's rough considering that I've always been the slowest friend <laughs> <laughs> good advice but it means that our friendship may come to a literal end <laughs> But that's okay. I, I did like the like, you really should check in on the friendship. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't realize that they're well known for their uh, 
their humor. Which is... Yeah, they're they're pretty good. <laughs> Worth checking out. Uh, if you missed our first Rocket League game, uh, it was my uh, my cracked coming out party because I played out of my mind for like two minutes and then the other team forfeited and I'll never be this good at Rocket League. <laughs> Maybe I just chased myself. Uh, uh, but yeah, so far impressed with the, 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 the monitor. We have a portable monitor now to try to actually make this game fun to play whilst doing GMS on the road. And I'm also uh, very impressed with our internet connection. I will tell you, Hotel Life Hacks, Chad, that I uh, don't see a lot of hotel rooms anymore that have hardwired internet. Pretty infrequent. Maybe ever. I don't know. Do you, do you ever see any hotels that have hardwired internet anymore? Uh uh. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they'll have them like near a desk or something where there's like a big modem style device or whatnot. But yeah, it's 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 pretty rare. Um, but I looked on the wall and I was like, oh look, a land port. This is exciting. I'm gonna have a hardwired internet. No, it was not the case. I don't know why that's there. Maybe it's old, but it did not do anything when I plugged an Ethernet cable into it whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, so then, on the back of the TVs in this particular hotel room, they have some sort of system for getting the uh, stuff that they put onto their screens uh, through an internet connection, or through at least an ethernet cord. And so I unplugged the ethernet cord and plugged my cord into it to see if uh, we actually got internet, and it was amazing. It actually did have like access to the full internet. It wasn't just like a, an intranet type thing. And the speeds were significantly lower than those of my phone's hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> so we went this route instead. <laughs> like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, significantly lower. It's almost like that whole setup wasn't designed for me to try to patch into their, their Ethernet system. So follow us for more uh, life hacks with that. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. This so is so jealous uh, that you have this, the ice celebration. I'm a big fan. I like it. They're very reminiscent of the. Uh, you remember those that like changed the whole whole thing to kind of like a digital look mm -hmm. and that cool tone to it that was pretty neat so. all right if you're just joining us uh, we're playing some rocket league we got birthdays this day in gaming history coming up after this game uh, so stay tuned for that oh that, that was almost perfect <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many birthdays we're going to have that were as notable as yesterday's. My favorite clip from yesterday was you doing your James Bond impression. <laughs> Which I think we used as our going live uh, tweet today on uh, Watch GMS on Twitter. So if you did see that and you enjoyed that clip, I'd give it a quick thumbs up because I thought Sean did awesome over there. I think what I was most happy about, though, is the last two times I've worked basketball up in the Seattle area, the game has gone to overtime, and that was not the case yesterday. That's good. No more overtime anything. Well, yeah, especially in first-hour crew <laughs> Rocket League games, somewhere, right? <laughs> well, no. Nice job. Especially because I thought, like, I'd get to... Uh, my hotel probably closer to like 11. It was closer to like 11.30 already. So if the game had gone to overtime, I may be operating off like three hours. <laughs> That's yucky. I 
I was gonna get, <clears throat> I was gonna get super cocky there as I hit the ball through the net and be like, I said no overtime and make it. <laughs> didn't. You just can't get, get any good shots off. No. Uh -oh. They actually kind of saved my shot. At yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They helped me. Uh, it is not National Old Stuff Day, but if you want to chime in on what your favorite old stuff <laughs> is, you can uh, restream chat is my nemesis. <laughs> uh, you can also let us know what your weekend plans are, too. Um, got more sports, I know. You know what I have to start this weekend that I haven't actually started? I have to start taxes. Hmm. And that's always kind of a, an interesting thing to start out, especially now with the, like the hybrid life, doing a lot of more contract work. It's going to be a very interesting tax season for them. <laughs> There we go. Yes. Game winner. And I got an assist for that, too. Look at that, chat. That's not bad. That's not bad. Was that our teammate who left the match immediately? Um, no, I think it was all of them. <laughs> that was a long match, but we got an overtime win to round out the first hour crew. Your MVP in that match was was Sports Stock Gaming. So if you had that on your bingo card, you scored 624 points. Damn. Yeah, yeah that was a good game. You were locked in. We're Rocket League uh crackedness when it comes to uh this particular space so there you go uh all right thank you for being here at 6 50 west coast time it's 9 50 out east and it is now 2 50 for those watching gms in the uk Doo -doo -doo. Uh, but yes hefty goof wants you to give us your best third person sentence because today is in fact third person day we'll share some fun facts about what third person day is all about coming up in the uh, second hour uh, we also will have a list of the day and sports sports uh, so we have that on the way uh, thank you for being along for the ride it is the 3rd of March 2023 uh, it is time for birthdays this day in gaming history if you have a birthday to celebrate please let us know because we would like to celebrate with you alright uh, celebrity birthdays wise um, we do have a decent list but we're gonna get to that after a quick audience birthday this person hasn't been with us for quite some time but was one of our first ever patreon subscribers and that is shark douglas who celebrates a birthday coming up on saturday to to you shark douglas it's your birthday song it is very long doot, doot. Uh, otherwise celebrity birthdays wise today is julie brown the actress's 53rd birthday today um Julie, prior to Modern Family, also had long-running roles on Ed and Boston Legal. Oh, Julie Brown's the mom for Modern Family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, her last name is Bowen. Did I say Brown? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought Hefty you'd catch Goof it the second up. time. <laughs> nope, have to go screwed up reading the name. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's going. Um, have you ever watched yeah, an episode of Modern Family? Uh, I, hey. I don't think I have. I think I've only ever watched Modern Family in clips like mm. on YouTube shorts or something. I saw quite a few episodes when it first came out. We watched it for a while and just fell off. It, it wasn't. It wasn't amazing. It's better in clips, actually. <laughs> That's the right it's a good social it. media show. Well, cool. I'm happy at partaking in the best form for it to be 
Queen <laughs> Joy. Uh, how about I read these correctly with actress Catherine Watcherston <laughs> turning 43 today. Her father is actor Sam Waterston. <laughs> I am happy that that is the case, although if you have fun fact is about someone other than the person celebrating a birthday on your bingo card, you can check mark that. But I saw that name, I was like, I wonder if they're related to Sam Waterston. They are. <laughs> Uh, Sam Watterson, of course, well known for Law and Order. <laughs> dum dum, dum dum. Uh, today, actress Je- uh, Jessica Biel is forty-one. Uh, Jessica was one of the actresses in early consideration for the role of Black Widow. I mean, I don't know anything about Black Widow, but I think Jessica Biel would have made a pretty okay superhero, right? Yeah, I think she would have been right. Would have been did Jessica oh. Beale already play a superhero ever? Uh, no. Oh, I'm thinking of Jennifer Garner. Mm-hmm. Who was <laughs> Daredevil? Where's that yeah, Ben she Affleck? Was... Well, I mean she was she was in Daredevil with Ben Ben oh. Affleck. Yeah, I don't I don't I think Jessica Beale was anything i'm happy we're figuring this out in real time uh actress natalie kelly turns 39 today um <clears throat> natalie made her film debut in the fast and the furious tokyo drift i've seen that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a waste of time. That's not gonna <laughs> I'm going to feel really bad if if she was one of the leads. In that. Maybe I just forgot Tokyo Drift. Not Natalie Kelly. <laughs> it's not her fault. It's the movies. The movies it's fault. Tokyo Drift's fault. Yeah. Uh, singer Camilla Cabello turns 26 today. Uh, she joined The Voice as a coach last season. I really every season of The Voice want to get into it, and I rarely have, but I love the premise with the turning around of the chairs. I also mm-hmm. imagine that the show's like appeal falls off significantly after they're done with the part where they turn the chairs around. That's just what I imagine. Right. Yeah. That's kind of what I imagine, too. I've never made it very far through a season. I've seen bits and pieces, but that's about it. Uh, potentially maybe another good social media show. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. Uh, so those are uh, some of your celebrity birthdays. But wait, there's more. We've got a drummer birthday. Drummer Duncan Phillips of Newsboys is 59. Of the Newsboys? Of the Newsboys. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good drum name. Duncan Phillips. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Could have been better as a professional Oreo eater. <laughs> you didn't see that happening, did you? You thought I was doing <laughs> basketball, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, today, actor Robert Gosset of Major Crimes and The Closer is 69. Nice. Also, guitarist John Lilly of The Hooters is also 69. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's see. Guitarist Joe Blower Garvey. Hinder is 39 today. Blower, huh? Uh, the iconic guitarist. Uh, you have Flea, right? Buckethead, I think, is a well known guitarist. Slash? Slash, there you go. And Blower. He should. Be a uh, trumpet player. 
Did you know uh, George Miller, uh, the uh, producer director, is uh, also celebrating birthday today? Seventy-eight. Nice. I didn't know George Miller was still alive. So. Oh, yeah, he's seventy-eight. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> Um, Jackie Joyner Kersey, former Olympian, is 61, and this is the no longer with his birthday of uh, the inventor Alexander Graham. Nice. Uh, good morning, a nice chat to uh, businesses and to RHS Jack. It is great to see you this morning. Thank you for being here for GMS on the Road. It's the Friday edition. Uh, this day in gaming history, this day in gaming history, uh, we do have a chance for you to play a lawsuit. Or not a lawsuit, although Bob's not here to play the didgeridoo, so I will do my best didgeridoo impression uh, to lock, lock in your answer. Uh, the year, Sean, was 1971. Uh, 1971. Decidedly not a lawsuit. Decidedly? With that yeah. kind of vigor? Yeah. There's no ambiguity. It's not like, oh, they were in, in the court, but maybe still not. Nope, it's definitely not a lawsuit. It was an amendment or whatever. When I play the didgeridoo, your answer is locked in. Uh, 1971, Sean, Magnavox signs an exclusive licensing agreement with Sanders Associates for the television video game technology. Clearly, that was a loss. Not even close. Nailed it. Not even close. Uh, you are correct. Uh, that was not a lawsuit. In 2005, in Arkansas, uh, Senator Sean Womack introduces a bill that would require shops that rent or sell M-rated games to display them at a height of at least five feet from the floor. Get no back word, to short kids. If, <laughs> right, right. No word if uh, Senator Sean Womack represents Toad Suck, Arkansas. Harry Clarence Styles. Yeah, right. uh, 2008 2K Sports releases Major League Baseball 2K8. As for a variety of machines, the following year, Microsoft released Halo Wars for Xbox 360. Uh, not knowing any better, that sounds like a like a Halo spinoff more than a new iteration, but I'm guessing that's not the case. Do you have any idea on Halo Wars? Uh, no idea. Yeah. No idea. Uh, 20. 09 as well. Sony releases MLB 09, the show for PlayStation 3. A lot of baseball games come out this time. Uh, 2017, Nintendo releases the Switch video game system. This is the anniversary of the Switch. It mm -hmm. sold for $299. The system uses an NVIDIA Tegra processor, incorporates 6.2 inch 120, uh, 1280 by 720 resolution multi touch screen. And includes a 32 gigabyte memory slot, expandable to two terabytes via an SD slot as well. Operates 2.5 to six hours on battery power, and also uses a 16 gigabyte card for games. An extra Joy-Con controller costs eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we bought we they're, bought they're extra Joy Cons. I don't remember them costing that much. They're pricey. I still, it'll always baffle me that they couldn't wait one more week and release the Switch on Mario Day. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and you gave that to, to us in the Gaming Morning Show, Morning Gaming News. Nintendo recognizes Mario Day. That's not just something fans do, right? Yeah, no, they've been, they've embraced it more recently. I wonder why they, yeah, just wait another week. It's only, it's only a week. What? Maybe March 10th, like 2017, was just the wrong day of the week. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, also in 2017, Nintendo released Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that came out on Switch and plug your ears, Sean. Wii U. Ah, I still felt it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, 2017, Konami put out Super Bomberman R for Switch as well. Those were probably some release titles, I guess. Switch came out this day. 2017, and there's your This Day in Gaming History. Nice. It's a good day. Uh, good I'll morning, play my nice Switch chat. today. You're going to play your Switch today? I'll play my Switch to celebrate. I'll play it today. How, how about this? Since we had such a good experience on Monday during GMS on the Road where we were both playing on Switch, why mm. don't you switch to your Rocket League's, uh, Rocket League game for next hour on Switch? Why not? Mm. 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 Maybe next <laughs> 
Uh, good morning and nice chat to uh, I Good Apollo. Nice chat. It's good to see you. Uh, Hefty Goof says thank you for being along with us. Jack is here. Says I am an old stuff, but rather than that, I am a fan of old libraries and old books. That's a good answer to yesterday's question of the day, which is so happened to being replayed by our good friend Restreambot. Because Sogo plays is here as well. Good morning, GMS. Ooh, we're on the road. Yes, I'm in a fake location <laughs> uh, in Seattle, as you can tell. I'm CGI. <laughs> into a generic <laughs> hotel room set. <laughs> That's not a real table. <laughs> it really does look so generic. Yeah. All right. If anyone would like to take some very important business meetings, I'll be here <laughs> in my office. Uh, oh, Sis has a good point. Wow, what a nice closet. Uh, the closet in this hotel room is pretty weak so i don't think i would have been able to fit even this camera in there so so no gms from the closet today <sighs> well it's good to see you uh today's topic of the day in fact has to do with a uh, talk in third person because it is talk in third person day so please share your best third person sentence apollo educates us halo wars was a blast just hate that it didn't offer much in replayability Mm -hmm. yeah that's too bad yeah so Apollo it wasn't like a side Halo game like it was definitely like one of the mainline games it just maybe didn't have any replay got it, got it. Uh, well let us know your answer to the question we'll take a break we'll come back with more gaming morning show next hour we're going to do list of the day uh, and it's going to be a good one so we can't wait to tell you what that is also next hour sports sports uh, so that's all on the way. Thank you for being here. It's uh, Sean and Hefty, and it is Friday, March 2nd, or rather 3rd, March 3rd, 2023, 0303, 2023. And we're on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and at GamingMorningShow.tv. We'll be right back.
Coming up on Gaming Morning Show, List of the Day, and Sports. Find GMS on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and GamingMorningShow.tv. All ahead on Gaming Morning Show. Time for hour number two, right now. Morning. Gamer, welcome back. Gaming Morning Show continues. Thank you for being with us, GMS on the road. It is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Hefty goof, sports.gaming. We are so glad that you could be along for the ride wherever you're joining us from. Uh, I am on the road uh, coming back from Seattle today, which is basically where I live now. So uh, it's great the time I spent in Oregon, but I am now officially a Seattleitarian. Sounds right. Seattle Terrian. Se- Seattleite? I think it is Seattleite. Yeah, I like yours better, though. The Seattle. <laughs> what are you doing later? I'm Seattle. Seattle. Uh, I, I, com- I have a confession to make. I'm gonna, He's got another confession to make. I'm, I'm going to take my green screen down. Uh, turns out I've, I've been right next door the whole time. Yeah, so the people I was worried about with yeah. the, the pillows that I put up to try to make sure that I didn't disturb anyone, that's in it's fact just me. You. It's just me. I'm, I'm also in oh. Seattle. In, you're in the adjacent hotel room? Yeah, and I, I hacked into your hotspot. I'm using the same Wi-Fi. That's understandable. <laughs> understandable. Looks really good in there. Your bed looks exactly the same as me. Yeah. Also, uh, as you can see, by the the clock oh the clock <laughs> it's eleven twenty three right now <laughs> well you, we all know that hotel room clocks are never nah, that's true that's true <laughs> all right who who likes hefty's room better <laughs> hefty's room which is definitely a place that i'm literally in this is not green screens <laughs> or sean's which is also... literally where he is <laughs> Not green screen. <laughs> Whose room is better? <laughs> uh, well, thank you for making me feel not so alone as a fellow Seattle Ontarian. <laughs> Sounds like a political party. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Republican or a Democrat? No, nope. Seattle Ontarian. <laughs> Uh, did they give you the fancy <laughs> coffee maker in your hotel room too? They sure did. Yeah, yeah. I brought my own, I brought my own cup. Though. Naturally, saving the environment. I appreciate. It. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and my own spoon. <laughs> uh, it is great to see everyone. Thank you for being here. Apollo was talking about the uh, game that came out, uh, Halo Wars, which is on this day in gaming history. It wasn't really a mainline game, but it was more of like a battle for middle earth so it's definitely more of a side story that didn't really stick or offer much to the story but it was super fun the multiplayer was the only replayability but even that lost its luster because everything everyone uh because every one just sped through uh medium power units spammed the crap out of them and then you lost your base before you could start sounds like a lot of fun Ooh. and, and by fun People i mean really silly people uh we'll get you a list of the day we're going to do that coming up here in about 10 minutes from now uh, we also have a story on the way as well that one has to do uh with an alligator that interrupts lacrosse practice uh, earlier we told you about how the national park service did say in fact never push a slower friend down uh, is more sage and sound advice than that of if you are running from a bear if you're running from your life uh, for your life you should in fact actually push your best friend down so And, Depends on the friend. And talk in third person day prompts me to say Hefty Goof wonders if Sports Talk Gaming would push Hefty Goof. No. No, I'd pick you up so we could run faster. You would carry me? Yeah. Carry you to safety. You're the best <laughs> brother in law ever. <laughs> best friends forever. Mm-hmm. Best friends in our forever. hotel rooms. Yeah. We. We're such good friends that we uh, have adjoining rooms as opposed to <laughs> staying in the same one. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, the first Rocket League game I played today was the best Rocket League game I've ever played in my life, and then since I have been fairly mediocre. Let's see if I can have a rebound type game. We still won last time, though. That is true. We are 2-0 oh for the day. And each have an MVP for the day, too. Oh, you gave me a little boost. I was trying to, to get out of the way. So. I don't have, luckily, that problem that I have with some racing games. I'm going to pretend that that's Hiv who scored. Hiv scored. Uh, I'm, 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 I don't have the problem that I have with some racing games when I play them, where after I get done playing them, I want to drive really fast. Mm, yeah. What if there were random balls on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to hit them? Only if I was in an ice style landscape <laughs> where uh, everything and, and there was a hockey puck. Which, by the way, as we'll learn today coming up in sports, uh, the Kraken were on the road, so there is no chance I can watch them play tonight. Oh, bummer. There was already a 0% chance, but. It's actually impossible. Like they are literally not. But I thought about checking out the uh, the practice uh, building, the practice barn, to use hockey vernacular, because uh, you know, as season ticket holders, there's like perks and stuff. When you stop by, you can save some money on a meal and all this stuff. It would be kind of fun to see, but that's also not something. That we're talking about. So, all these really fun ideas, none of them are going to get executed. For No, no. Oh, okay. The, I, I honestly was not going toward the orange goal or the uh, blue goal at any point, <laughs> but I did for some reason think we were the orange. Team. <laughs> that person booping it over my head. I was like, "What are you doing, teammate?" Uh, if you want to do exclamation point bingo, you can grab your bingo card for today. I do think I I thought of a good idea for how to use the bingo cards uh, in subsequent subsequent months. So uh, we might tell you about that. I, I haven't even run it by Sean. It hit me yesterday on the way up to Seattle that I thought might be a good way. But we've been testing those. This is your last call to give us some suggestions uh, for what type of things you'd like to see on the squares themselves. So if you don't feel like we have enough possibilities, uh, definitely let us know. And uh, we'll incorporate those into into our uh, bingo cards in the future. Okay, I will say as much as uh, we complained from Monday's show about you know having to play this game on the Switch, because I completely agree with you. There is definitely a different feel to the way that Rocket League plays on the Switch. I will say that it's neat that you can still do cross progression. Yeah, yeah. That is really handy. Because today in the final hour crew, when we do Friday, we work on different achievements and such. Uh, and it's very nice that, you know, also actually get credit for those on my main account. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I wish I could figure out, and I, and I don't know why, is I can't trade anything with my kids. Uh, and I, I assume that's because I have so much stuff that was earned on the PS5. Hmm. Yeah, that could be. Their their trade system is unusual. I mean, I think you and I have only successfully traded like once. Right. There's all these caveats. Well, you have to have, like, we've had to have put, like, coins in their accounts so that they can even <laughs> just have a chance to trade and then uh, we need to have uh, certain, I don't know, settings have to be right. It's Conditions must be perfect. <laughs> I will admit my coffee uh, is not the greatest coffee of all time. That's too bad. Mine's good over here. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll come to your room. I will admit, though, so I learned something. So the last time I stayed at the same exact type of hotel, I went to go make my coffee. 
And you know, in the little in-room coffee makers, how they have like the individual, you know, coffee filter, uh, you know, that's already pre-packaged. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there used to be a little drawer in these coffee makers. They're single cup. They, they fit these cups here. And you would slide the drawer in with a little pouch in it. Well, mine didn't have a little drawer. And I was like, I can't have coffee this morning. There's no little drawer. I've learned after reading the damn instructions that they got rid of the little drawer because that's far less sanitary than having a disposable drawer in the little coffee pouch. Package. Mm. So... Once I read the instructions, I get coffee in the tip. I can't believe I missed that last one so high. You got it there, though. Just needed a little help from your friends to finish it off. Yeah, goodbye with a little help from my friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> wow. We were so close to having three in a row. Oh, my gosh. So sad. So sad. All right. Well, chat, we're losers for the first time today, but we tried our hardest. Did I score over 100 points is a question you may be asking yourself. And that answer is, in fact, maybe. I honestly don't know yet comes i did i had 118 sean had 338 was in line to be mvp but we lost the match on the very last second uh congratulations to if for a two score game <laughs> uh it is gms on the road thank you for being with us uh, sports Talk gaming on the uh, left side of your screen i am hefty goof we are in uh, adjoining hotel rooms uh, which is fantastic <laughs> Uh, your room, uh, you made your bed very professionally, by the way. Well, yeah, I uh, you got to keep it looking nice for the show. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to see, like, all your, your clothes unpacked and, like, drawn out all over your bed. That'd be just not professional. <laughs> and definitely not how my bed looks right now. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest with you, uh, last night when I set up, you couldn't see this stuff because I was using a different camera. Mm -hmm. And then I had everything on that couch back there, which is, again, very real. And I can definitely touch it. Uh, but then I woke up this morning. <laughs> Me <everything>. too. <laughs> uh, thank you for the F in chat, uh, Apollo. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, fluff the pillow really quick. It's looking a little <laughs> bit. Destroyed. Can you chop the pillow, actually? Nailed it. Those pillows sound incredibly firm. <laughs> they feel nice. Oh my gosh. They, How much they feel green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning and nice chat to a Dungeon Meowster. It's good to see you this morning. Nice chat! Uh, thank you for being with us wherever you may be on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube. It's time for our list of the day. 725 West Coast is 1025 out east. And it is 325 for those watching GMS in the UK. Do -do -do. Uh, last show of the week, of course. What are your weekend plans? Please let us know. And then we'll be back with you on Monday uh, in the home studios again, which we are definitely not in as we speak. Definitely not in. Um, we're t uh, celebrating talk in third person day. So why not give you a list of the day that has to do with third person? So we're going to give you the top 10 best third person shooters of all time. Third person video games. Very nice. <laughs> You seem proud of this one. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> I did think it was hard. We're not even asking you a question technically. We have more of a demand of you today, which is give us your best sentence in third person. Mine was hefty goof can definitely do a good job rolling is ours. Nice. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, let's see if uh, Bob is ready to go with our countdown. These are from top the the top tens dot com actually we'll go in uh, inverse order so let's start with number 10 we'll work our way up to number one again the top best 
third person shooters. And we start with one zero uh, is Max Payne, which, by the way, I loved the name of this this uh, video game. I have never played this game, but I remember it coming out. and I was like, this is a fantastic name. The person's mm -hmm. name is Max Payne. Yeah, that's fantastic. Popularized yeah, believe, uh, the bullet time mechanic, too. Oh, yeah. And this is um, this is about like an assassin, right? Uh, he was he was like a private eye kind of kind of deal and and then got into shenanigans. I was thinking of Hitman. Mm, yeah, that one's about Hitman. a Hitman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good that we cleared that up. No one knew what that game Nine. was about until just this moment in time. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, Max Payne uh, writes the author. A game is a, without a doubt a masterpiece. Uh, certainly, the mood is perfectly captured all throughout. An amazing soundtrack, beautiful sound effects, and great atmosphere. Best third-person shooter game ever made, writes somebody else. Uh, revolutionary for its time. It writes uh, story, gameplay, characters. All in all, well-received. Number 10 on this list is Max Payne. Nice. Nine. Uh, number nine is The Last of Us. Uh, definitely a fantastic game and enjoying quite the popularity right now with the re-release of the last of us part one out on pc recently and the show uh with grave review great reviews um the last of us is a pretty good game i kind of want to play it when the show's over again but we'll see Eight. i kind of want you to to, to, I want you to do that as well because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to watch you play it. I only watched yeah. other people play it. And I've never seen someone play the actual full game of The Last of Us before. So, yeah. 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 We, should, we should do that. It'll be fun. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the number eight on this list. Uh, thank you, Bob. Actually has a story-like uh, line, rather, unlike just about every other shooter out there. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know anything about this game either. So if you have any tidbits on Star Wars Battlefront 2, I will gladly take them. Yeah, I never, I never got into Star Wars Battlefront uh, or Battlefront 2. Uh, just know that people really like it. Okay, and this is a, one of those uh, you can vote and change the results. So we're reading these as voted upon by some people. There are also some snarky comments like, yeah, because... Dead Space, Gears, Uncharted, Mass Effect, Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil, and tons of others don't have a story. <laughs> I'm putting inflection on that. Nice. <laughs> um, seven. Number seven is Grand Theft Auto V. And the, <laughs> the comment for this is, this is an open world game. <laughs> <laughs> that it is. <laughs> um, I, all the Grand Theft Auto games are uh, enjoyable in their own way. Um, this one in particular is, I mean, as you see here, it's pictured as a PlayStation 3 game. You can still play that game, still getting regular updates on the PlayStation 5. <laughs> Six. Uh, these are the best third-person shooters on Talking Third Person Day. Number six is a game that we likely were going to play for GMS Fudge. Uh, sometime, not in the near future, but sometime in the future, because uh, Dead Space Remake has come out. The atmosphere of this game is truly a class above any other yet to come, writes one person for the top10s.com. Tight controls, toit. Great story and characters, <laughs> and upgrading your weapons gives you a real sense of having a fighting chance at surviving. Also says, what can be said? It's beautiful and at times expresses true horror. Horror. Yeah. Excited to check this out. Someday. I'm five. Uh, number five is Gears of War uh, Xbox series. The one uh, reviewer writes, there are many great games on this list. I think Mass Effect 2 is one of the greatest games of all time, but it's an RPG. Star Wars Battlefront 2 was my first shooter. Uh, Gears of War is an awesome game and is an evolution for the genre. Nothing more to say. Um, yeah, Gears of War was a lot of fun. This is the only gears i played the original gears of war game i think that was the only one i uh played but um was i, I don't know if it was revolutionary for the mechanic or at least introducing it to me the um cover mechanic in gears of war was pretty fantastic 
uh, you can kind of stick to cover a lot easier and then pop out to shoot and then go back into cover to reload or to uh, wait out an enemy. Uh, it was pretty, pretty good. A lot of fun. Four. Uh, Mass Effect 2 is number four on this list. And I just saw that you can hit plus and read additional comments. So some of the examples for Mass Effect 2 include my favorite game of all time, which again is me supposed to say, uh, on third person day hefty goofs favorite game of all time uh this is also bioware's best game today it wasn't their best game tomorrow but it's their best game today uh it's also because it's mass effect 2 as simple as that uh but also says the best third person shooter ever made uh you know why i think that this might be accurate is because my friend sports gaming said that i never really got into the mass effect games but you wish you had yep yep maybe someday i'll give them a shot I'm happy that I remembered that right, because I couldn't remember if you actually said that you'd be interested in them. <laughs> three. Uh, number three is Red Dead Redemption. Um, the This is not not the newest one. This was the one, uh, the first, first popular Red Dead game. There was Red Dead as well, but I, I only know about that game because of Red Dead Redemption's popularity. <laughs> So I'm going to count this as uh, the first popular one. Um, now, one reviewer writes, you'll never get bored of this game because there's so many things to do, so many places to explore. It's even better than Grand Theft Auto 4, and that means a lot. Yeah, I've heard good things. Um, maybe maybe, uh, maybe we'll get lost in the Red Dead universe. I, I'd someday. be open to it. Um, I, I, I've watched people play Grand Theft Auto, and I've played a little Grand Theft Auto myself. And... I would I, I kind of like the idea of being set in the old west more than mm -hmm. you know the, the modern day for some reason so I and I also haven't tried it so I, I'd be open to maybe doing like either the role play version of it or just you know playing like you can play co-op in it just in I the believe, standard game right I, I believe so yeah that'd be, fun. That'd be fun. two uh, I feel bad taking this because you're such a fan of the Uncharted games but this is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves uh, the person who commented on this at the top tens.com wrote, I wouldn't classify Mass Effect 2 as a third person shooter. There's a lot of there's a lot of anger between what is and what isn't a third person shooter on this list. Um, it is a fantastic game, though. This game is everything an action adventure title should be. And it happens to be a third person shooter. Put, put emphasis where it maybe it didn't belong there. Uh, Toit gameplay mechanics and awesome set pieces make this one stand out. Uh, the game is amazing great quality great action scenes great story it should really be first yeah it, it's a fantastic game and it's people get so they they take the classifications of games so personally because i i wouldn't actually i wouldn't consider this a third person shooter i'd consider this a third person adventure game um so i i, I <laughs> people need to just chill with what you classify things if you want to call this a third person shooter that's fine is it third person and you at some point shoot things yeah but that's also true about mass effect 2 so it's fine it's hey, fine listen <laughs> call of duty is a third person shooter now so oh it's it's true it's true you can play third person mode Get wrecked. best third person shooter ever we'll see <laughs> is it number one one it's not <laughs> spoilers uh number one is resident evil 4 um one reviewer writes this is uh my favorite game on a sony console con console <laughs> console aside <laughs> from final fantasy 7 uh this game is so good that capcom never uh can never recapture the gold of it even though the sequels can't compare there's no denying that this game is the best in capcom's catalog um it, it, I've played some Resident Evil 4. It's it's a pretty pretty good game, and the remake's coming soon. How timely! Mm -hmm. It's almost like maybe people were upping it on this list just so it could get the recognition it deserved, or maybe it actually. <laughs> um, I do like the Resident Evil games, uh, but again, like some of them, and I, I've never played RE4, but like some of them have more of like what I, you would have considered the like I. I you, you talked about Uncharted as maybe an adventure game. That made mm -hmm. me think of Tomb Raider, which is also in third person, and you're shooting, but you're also adventuring, and that's kind of a little bit what uh, Resident Evil reminds me of, but I don't know those classifications nearly as much as you would, so I'll yield yeah. the floor. Sir. There, 
they're fluid, uh, which is why uh, one one person's third person shooter is another third person's third person uh, RPG or third person horror horror game. Just gotta go right. with the flow. There you go. Top 10 third person games on talk in third person day. That comes to you courtesy of the top tens.com. It is seven 36 on this morning radio show that plays games. Uh, good morning. Nice chat to, uh, Hey, it's Brendan and earthling gaming who are here. Uh, Sean will be back in just a touch. So we'll see Sean in just a little bit, leaving us in Sean's adjoining hotel room to the one that I am currently in Sean's hotel room. Looks like that. Hefty Goofs hotel room looks like this. Hi, I'm in a hotel room. I promise. I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, Love Gears of War says Downs. Uh, it had gun saws too. Dang, it's fun. Uh, I've heard good things about Gears of War from others as well. Uh, Re4 says Brendan. Uh, can't, or rather, can never recapture the gold of it. So this, this person probably feels great about the remake. Oh, <laughs> lol. Uh, Earthling uh, says Earthling appreciates you all and feels weird writing sentences in third person in chat, uh, which is what KJ did too because we were asking what are your weekend plans. KJ says plans tonight. KJ will be teaching a family how to D and then she will be playing D and D with her friends on Sunday. Sounds like a quite uh, enjoyable uh, weekend. Uh, if you are curious where talk in third person day comes from, it happens every single March 3rd on this day. People talk to each other in the third person. Words like I, you, and we are not allowed. It's from nationaltoday.com. People are supposed to refer to each other as he, she, or they. Did you know that this day was celebrated for the first time 16 years ago? Hefty Goof can tell you that's the case. It is celebrated across the globe by people, uh, by, t- uh, by people, by talking in third person and enjoying all the laughter and fun that follows. It allows people to do something different from their daily routine and do something funny, creative, and entertaining. Not much is known about the origins for this day, except that it was started in 2006. The holiday is based on the philosophy of Iliism. Iliism refers to the concept of talking in the third person. Many writers in the past have used this concept in their writing as they believe that some situations are better described that way. They also believe that it stirs emotions in a way that first or second person descriptions cannot. Iliism has also been used by many politicians, actors, sports uh, people, and other well-known personalities across the globe. So there you go. It's a little bit about talk in the third person day. Hefty Goof is happy that he could bring that to you on this particular day. I love how Sean teleported Star Trek style. Yeah. Sean uh, got beamed up by Scotty, but we'll come back for the final hour crew. In the final hour crew, we are going to do some Achievement Hunter uh, just working on our Rocket Pass for Rocket League. So we'll be doing that coming up in the final hour crew. We'll also play Words on Stream when it's GMS on the road. You can't bring your Don't Let the Person Floating from the Balloons Fall in the Monster's Mouth with you. So we'll have to play some Words on Stream, but that can be pretty fun. That can be pretty fun. Uh, let's see. KJ says, so if I use a slingshot in the mines on Stardew Valley, then can I call it a third-person shooter? You're looking at it from a third-person perspective, right? So absolutely, third-person shooter, Stardew Valley. It's official. It's official. Uh, I love how Sean teleported Star Trek style, as I mentioned. Uh, Sorry, Earthling meant to say that he found that information very interesting. True, true. Uh, Because you said that's so interesting. Thank you for clarifying where that came from, because that's concerning. Brennan will humor you for one sentence. Thank you, Brennan. I appreciate that very much. Uh, all right, it's 740. It's time to tell you what we're tracking on this morning radio show that plays games at this hour. Uh, earlier in the show, we told you how the National Park Service felt compelled to tell everybody that it is, in fact, not wise to push your slowest friend down when it comes to trying to get out of a bear attack. However, there are other things you can do that are wiser. Uh, now we'll tell you from Ben Hooper of UPI that an alligator who was at a lacrosse practice ended up disrupting things at a Florida high school. Uh, the story, as I mentioned, is also from Ben Hooper of UPI. Um, let me give you the link in chat so you can take a look at it. Florida high school lacrosse team's practice was interrupted when an alligator decided to take a walk across the field. Uh, according to Ben, it's Alonzo High School. The lacrosse team uh, t- tweeted a video showing that the alligator caused a scene by strolling across the Tampa field during a practice session. 
The video was recorded and uh, shows players keeping their distance while the gator walks by with Aerosmith's Walk This Way playing in the background. Now, here's a quote. First, a fish falls from the sky. Now a gator comes to visit. Looks like it's time for a new team award, the team tweeted. That's because a track and field practice at the same school was interrupted in April of 2021 by a visiting alligator. But I don't understand where the whole fish falls from the sky thing came from. I thought that, that last sentence was going to explain that. It turns out that that was not the case. So there you go. That's what we're tracking at this hour on this morning radio show. That plays games at 742. Happy Friday to you and yours. And you can certainly let us know uh, what you're planning to do over the course of uh, this weekend. So that is an option as well. You can just see Sean's bedroom down on the bottom of the screen. I love it so much. All right. Here we go. Uh, Rocket League has actually gone really well. I played my most cracked Rocket League game of all time in the uh, first hour, which was nuts. Um, I had never played that well, and I was doing so on a Switch uh, on mobile internet. It was it was very interesting. It was like all of the world's favors were being given to old Hefty Girl for that moment. Nice setup. Nice setup. Sure. Uh, yeah, weekend plans. Uh, I got more sports this weekend. I'm going to start taxes. I haven't done my taxes. Hefty Goof hasn't done his taxes at all uh, up until this point. Uh, so I have some uh, work to do in that respect. But, yeah. I'm going to work on that Sunday. Uh, Saturday I have sports. So, you know, very, very typical other than the taxes part uh, for me as far as my, my week. Uh, we'll try to check out some folks who are doing shows, of course, this weekend as well. I am Jeff Downs will be uh, likely on the air coming up around 12 p.m. Pacific time later today. I actually would like to also uh, have a chance to um, play some Apex Legends. I, I got to play like one game randomly yesterday. But I haven't had a chance to like have a lot of full sessions. So I'm hoping to also get a chance to do that on Sunday because the new season came out on the 14th of february we're almost a month into the new season i haven't really been able to play that much so i hopefully we'll get a chance to uh do more loba support uh, which would be awesome oh man my my internet connection started to leg out a little bit more on the video game and we were doing so well earlier and now trying to get a lot more lag hopefully that was stabilized they need you to play Apex Legends. You're their only QA team left. Yeah, we had the sad story um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, that uh, EA had through whoever, whatever group organizes their QA testers, you know, whatever contract uh, contract group um, that they let go of. I think around 200 QA testers, and so Towns' theory was uh, that they're basically just letting the the players be their QA team. So, which I suspect is probably cheap. So, hey, we're playing with Pastrami on Rye. That's good. <laughs> Earthling's plans are to go to a ballroom event tonight, and then tomorrow he is going to this party he was invited to. He might do some karaoke as well. I love karaoke. I can't actually sing in real life. And I have heard that folks who can sing in real life have a hard time with karaoke. I think that's why I love it so much, is because I'm not a good singer in any way, shape, or form. So karaoke gives me a chance to do something that I do like to do, which is perform, uh, but in an environment where I'm not actually expected to be able to sing. Hopefully. I mean, maybe that's that sums expectations, and I would try to rise up and meet those expectations, but I probably won't not be successful. Uh, this game is a lot easier to play on the Switch for what it's worth on an actual HD monitor. I have a really hard time playing this game on the actual built-in Switch screen. Which, by the way, if you missed it, and welcome back to be on YouTube. I hope your shower went pretty okay. Uh, today is the anniversary of the Switch coming out this day in 2007. So the Switch has turned 16 years old, believe it or not. 
uh, so Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild came out. I just can't believe the Switch is... Wait, no, 2017. 2017. This is not that old. I, I misspoke. Yeah, 2017. It's like, the Switch couldn't have come out in 2007. So the Switch is seven years old. I think I bought a Wii roughly 2013 or something like that. 2011. So... And I think this, the Wii came out like in 2006. So, wow. So, advancing the age of the Switch by a decade. My apologies to you, Switch. Happy 7th birthday. So close. So close. I'm mathing wrong, aren't I? The Switch turns 6. If it had come out in 2016, then it would have been seven years old. It's turning six. Math is hard, okay? Math is hard, chat. Whoa. And so is leg. Stay with me, Switch. Stay with me. We just got to get through three more Rocket League games. And then we'll be there. Uh, Mel B says, I love Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it came out this day in gaming history in 2017. And, and I only got a Switch because we got it kind of as our family video game machine. And then one of my children got a Switch Lite for a gift. And so then we found it easier just to get another Switch Lite for our other kid. And then they both primarily played those. And this, the other Switch has kind of become my extra console. Which is kind of fun because I would like to continue to do... Uh, like random games that the Switch has, like Mario Strikers Battle League. Uh, Mario, yeah, Strikers Battle League. I got a chance to play that on a GMS Tuesday nights when we were doing that show. Uh, we did a GMS Sports uh, episode, and that was a lot of fun, even though I got thoroughly uh, beaten because I tried to play on hard, and I was not good. I've enjoyed the Switch a lot, but I'm ready for Nintendo to step up a gem. And yeah, the OLED version of this was not, you know, uh, innovation, right? That was just a like a, like the PS Pro to the PS4, right? It was just a step up in screen quality and some other things. And actually, I mean, if the if the screen on the OLED version is higher quality, like I would appreciate that because I do think that impacts my experience with the Switch is having issues uh, being able to play it where it feels like the same smoothness, like the same frame rate as my PlayStation. And that could be all perceived and not real in any way, shape, or form. Even Quiet Night Gaming on Monday talked about the performance mode for the Switch, and that's something that I haven't even explored any further, but uh, that could be an option as well. All right, uh, thank you for being here at 7.49. West Coast time, it's 10.49 out east, and it's 3.49 for those watching GMS in the afternoon. Uh, I am Hefty Goof. I will take you up until the uh, top of the hour, and then Substack Gaming will come back, and we will uh, wrap things up for the final hour crew for the final hour of the shows for this week. Thank you for being with us. I am Hefty Goof, as I mentioned, in Seattle on the road today. Uh, I played some Ring Fit yesterday. It was raining all day, so I couldn't get out for a walk. I do like the Ring Fit game for Switch. Um, also, oh, you are correct. This game doesn't run well on Switch compared to other systems. It's held together with duct tape and a dream, says Brendan. But, like, I'll be holding the Switch and playing it with my kids because uh, I do enjoy the fact that, you know, we all have access to those Switches so we don't have to play split screen. We can all play on our own machine, which is fun. And I do think the crossplay works pretty okay for Rocket League. Yeah, it's something about watching on the screen, if not the same. But I, I, we ended up buying a portable monitor after Monday's show because I wanted one for a while. And they are a little spendy. I think we bought maybe a middle of the road type portable monitor that's uh, full HD. It's 1080p. And it does take HDMI inputs in addition to just a straight USB C to USB C connection uh, for your like laptop, you know, to extend your screen or whatever. And it it's something I wanted for a while, and the hefty wife can use it for her work too. So we we can find ways to to probably make the most out of a purchase we didn't absolutely have to make. 
but it has made today far better because I can play right here without having to use OBS or uh, worry about yeah, lots of different things. This is a place where we're going, have a television. Yeah, it's it's been very cool. Uh, thank you, Brendan. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, likewise to you, Earthling. We are going to get breakfast at McDonald's. I'm starving. Have a great breakfast at McDonald's. Yesterday was Egg McMuffin Day, so hopefully you got your free Egg McMuffin. Uh, Ring Fit is awesome, says Brendan. Yeah, it's really fun to play the story and also get the exercise, and it does. It like genuinely breaks the sweat, where sometimes I'll play Beat Saber or supernatural i think is one of the fitness apps on my oculus headset and sometimes those don't break a sweat but ring fit usually does um so yeah it's a pretty cool experience for sure all right it is 752 now it is time for sports uh, sports brought to you as always on this morning radio show that plays games by king gray please find king gray on the internet uh, this would be a very short sports segment i did mention that the kraken are not in Seattle, so I can't go watch them play. Even if I can stay here, I'm actually going home shortly after the show uh, today. But yesterday, the Kraken did play. They're on a little bit of an East Coast swing, and they won in overtime over your Detroit Red Wings, a 5-4 final. Seattle improves to 34-21-6 on the year. Meanwhile, your Calgary Flames, a 2-1 loss at home to Toronto. The Flames are now 27-22-13. I am, for one, getting a little worried that the Flames are not going to make the playoffs this year. Uh, Stars Wild Avalanche in the Central, Gold Knights, Kings, and Kraken in the Pacific. Those are your playoff teams out of the Western Conference divisions. Wildcard teams are Oilers and Jets. They five-point lead over the Flames for the final wildcard spot. Bruins, Maple Leafs, and Lightning out of the Atlantic Metropolitan Leaders, Hurricanes, Devils, Rangers, Penguins and Islanders leading the wild card. I am element or uh, element of ones. Penguins still in the playoff hunt. The Sabers are four points back for the final wild card spot in the Eastern Conference. Uh, good morning, nice chat to Digital Doc MD. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here for GMS on the road. We're doing sports. Uh, yesterday, NBA winners Dallas beat Philadelphia 133 126. Washington 119 108 win over Toronto. Both home wins. In fact, all the NBA games were won by the home team yesterday. Golden State 115, Clippers 91, and San Antonio gets its 16th victory of the year, 110-99 over Indiana. Uh, we also have the uh, k Laugh Memorial Golf Spot. The Arnold Palmer International presented by MasterCard has uh, started its second round today. John Rahm and Kurt Kitayama lead the way, minus seven so far. Puerto Rico Open is in the second round as well. Carson Young has a four-stroke lead in that one. No soccer scores to report to you, which is probably beneficial. So, uh, I mentioned Jonathan Quick got traded yesterday, or a couple days ago, rather. Uh, that was for the Los Angeles Kings, the goaltender. And uh, we mentioned also that there's a player for Detroit. Mercy, Antoine Davis, who is getting close to breaking the NCAA career scoring record. Played in the Horizon League Tournament quarterfinal and finished four sh uh, points shy of breaking the all-time record. That actually might be their last game of the year. They might make some sort of postseason tournament. The Titans are ineligible for the NIT or NCAA tournament. However, Davis could break Maravich's record if Detroit is invited to the postseason event like the CBI or the Basketball Classic. Well, there you go. That is your sports. 7.50. On this morning radio show that plays games. Uh, come back. Final hour crew is next. We'll play words on stream if you've never played that before. It is just the easiest audience game for us to play on the road, but it is a lot of fun. And then we'll also play some Rocket League and then get you out uh, by 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. So thank you for being part of it. Melby says the best we can do is buy one breakfast sandwich, get one for a dollar. Hey, still not bad. Still not bad. Ba 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 ba. Melby's loving it. All right, we'll come back with more. Thank you for being here. It's Gaming Morning Show. And it is the Friday edition, March 3rd, 2023, on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and at GamingMorningShow.tv. We'll be right back.
Coming up on Gaming Morning Show, Community Games, GMS, Morning Gaming, Renews, and get ready for your takeaways that were pretty okay, and the clip of the day. Find GMS on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and GamingMorningShow.tv. All ahead on Gaming Morning Show. Time for hour number three, right now. Morning, gamer. Welcome back. Gaming Morning Show continues. Thank you so much for being with us wherever you may be. It is Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Sports.gaming left side of your screen. I am Hefty Goof, and it's exciting to see you on 3323. Uh, we've had a fun show. Uh, all things considered, when you try to put together a show on the road, mm-hmm. when you're out of your element, and you have to do so in adjoining hotel guest rooms i think the show has gone pretty okay yeah no it's pretty good uh there there there's one thing missing and as we know bear bear doesn't like to travel but you know who does most of eagle eagle (laughs) uh well this is a common practice for eagles as most Uh people know uh, they often like to have their wing be a little bit clipped yeah. when they're flying. It's just very important to them. For safety. <laughs> because if the wingspan gets too broad, then... Nah, it's not safe for a hotel room. It's good to see you, Eagle Eagle, the Math Batigle, who on this very same morning radio show that we... I uh, told you last, I think it was yesterday, that actually Bear Bear is the one who likes to travel and Eagle Eagle yeah. and Eagle is the homebody exactly like you would have expected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, uh, Eagle likes hotel rooms. Bear Bear likes Airbnbs. <laughs> Bear and breakfast. <laughs> I promise this will all make sense. You can look it up. There will be a quiz after the show is over. <laughs> Uh, let's welcome in the final hour crew. Thank you all for being here today. It's so good to see you. Welcome in, final hour crew. The final hour crew is here. Hello, FHC. Uh, and it's good to see 100% true on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by this morning radio show that plays games. Uh, we also have Dungeon Meowster KJ, who is here for the uh, final hour crew as well. Um, we also have uh, I Good Apollo. Hey, it's Brendan TTV. It's good to see you as well. <laughs> Bob getting after it huh very loud the day bob's got a good voice if you will um we've also seen uh, many others on the show like imjf downs mel b on youtube has been here today as well earthling gaming it's good to see you uh, it is talk in third person day so i'll continue to read these out in that vein hefty goof says hi to uh, others who have joined like rhs jack hefty goof says hi to businesses and kasogo plays who also stopped by Uh, Throughout the course of the show, the element of one opened things up at the very beginning. If I missed your name or if you've been listening and lurking, thank you for being part of it. Let's play our audience game, which is words on stream. Uh, So we'll go ahead and do that. If you want to play this game, uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to uh, open up your phone browser and scan the QR code. Or if you're watching on Twitch today, uh, you can throw those in as well. Uh, So that's what it looks like right there. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, we had pretty good luck with this in the past. I also think I made it full screen, which I found to be helpful to uh, just kind of get it all in frame. So uh, we've reached level 19 before on this as well. So I'll hit start, and then you just need to start putting in some of the uh, words that you happen to find. I am JF Downs. It's good to see you today as well. Thank you so much. Um, let me turn off the, the sound effects and the music. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, Fret, for example, Quiet I Am Gaming is here. It's actually good to see you for real, Quiet I Am Gaming. It's good to see you. Uh, Sizz is here too. Dungeon Master KJ gets tree. Uh, we have what we call the Caboose Crew, the Lucy the First Memorial Caboose Crew. And with that, that is where people uh, are in the very bottom part of this particular game in the standings. Uh, Down says there's no H. That is true. There is no H. Uh, I read what Dungeon Master KJ uh, wrote as Reefer. It's actually Refer. Refer. <laughs> what KJ wrote. So I found the nice. big word, which was ferret. All 
Uh, if you're unfamiliar with our show, uh, we are uh, a morning radio show that plays games. Sean uh, is a um, doctor and also a video game expert and a talented musician and basically good at everything. Uh, I've been a broadcaster for uh, over 20 years. And so uh, we've been doing a morning radio show that plays games now for uh, just about three years. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to do. So thank you for being here. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m. Pacific time on Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube, and at GamingMorningShow.tv. We have one more word to find. It is a five-letter word, and it is before refer in alphabetical order. Freer downs clears nice. the board. We get nine out of nine. First try. We skip three levels with Dungeon Meowster KJ taking the top spot on the podium. I am JF Downs with that big finish. Gets 15 stars for second place. I had the big word, so I am up on the podium in third. And we have a three-way tie between Quiet, Sizz, and Sports Doc Gaming with seven stars apiece. That might have been our best round in a long time with Words on Stream. It was pretty good. It's not, not very often that we clear the board. Correct. And we have an all-time record for what it's worth of 229 in this game. Uh, that was an individual star performance. We're pretty sure unofficially held by Cope. All right. So these are also all available. There's no fake letters. There's no fake or I don't remember. Oh, hidden. Hidden is the one you get to eventually. So if you can find the words, throw them in there. You just type them into the Twitch chat if you're watching on Twitch or you can scan the QR code to join the game as well. Of course, the math major finds the math term. Tense was a good guess. We have nines from quiet. I find tens of words, Sean. Tens of words. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a... Uh... That's the ninest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it should be if it isn't. Ooh, Dungeon Master KJ with nets after downs found tennis. Nice work. There's one of these words that starts with either an E or an I, and I'm not sure what it is, but I'm stuck on those now. We've definitely completed the level that we need to complete, but we still have more words to find on the board. All right, we're pretty close. Didn't find the uh, other six letter word. This is my one complaint with words on stream is it never shows which we uh, didn't find, but that's okay. 13 yeah. out of 19. I actually was the level four leader with 13 stars that time and have uh, remained in third place with 22 stars overall. Some separation below the podium with Quiet I Am Gaming, a two star lead now over Sports Doc Gaming after a 10 star to eight star round, respectively. In level four, your caboose crew is Sports Doc Gaming and Businesses, who comes through with four stars. Uh, Dungeon Master KJ, our first level leader, continues to be in the overall lead with 31 stars. And I am JF Downs as a 10 star level four it remains in second place let's move to level number six i believe because we skipped two level six yeah that's the case this should be our last one without any tricks any tricks uh welcome back mel b on youtube i had an egg and cheese mcmuffin <laughs> we were all there <laughs> Oh, and uh, Sean doesn't have too much of an advantage over you. I think maybe sees it a little bit faster, but not too bad. I'll allow it. <laughs> Who you got the top of the board with ever? 
I want Ewok to be in here, by the way, but it's... <laughs> oh, I was just right there with Grove. Ah, you beat me too. <laughs> Whoa, from Downs. That's a nice one. Nice. We're missing the other, or only the six letter one. That's the only one we're missing so far of the big words. Doing pretty good. Over's already been found. Yeah. We had 137 out of 96 needed in that particular one. So we get 15 out of 20 words overall. We skipped two more levels. Nice work, chat. You're crushing it right now. Sportsock gaming the big round in level number six. How's that feel? Well, that was a pretty good one. Uh, to the top of the board, Sports Talk Gaming is 55 stars overall. Eclipsed all but Quiet I Am Gaming by a good amount of points. Quiet I Am Gaming had 37 stars, three shy of Sports Talk Gaming, level number six. So Quiet is in second place by one star, separating the top two on the podium. Dungeon Master KJ steady, but drops to third overall with 49 stars, seven better than I Am JF Downs, who's first off the podium after a 17 star round. And Hefty Goof and Businesses are now your Caboose crew. So far, we go to level number eight, and this should have a fake letter. So one of these letters is not actually available to use. So if you find out what it is because you type in a word that you know should be in here and it's not working, then please let us know what you think the fake letter is. <laughs> KJ says, hard to do this on mobile with the font on size six, lol. <laughs> uh... I tried cellulose, which is not actually in there. <laughs> we have Mel B with loan. I always try to help Mel B out because sometimes when you're typing into the YouTube chat, it doesn't work. But if you scan the QR code, you can join us. So clue didn't work. I think the L is fake. Yeah, lens was one from Dungeon Meowster. I think the L is fake, yeah. Do not use the L. The L is fake. Do not eat the red rope licorice. <laughs> Scone from Sizz. Nice find. Got cons from Quiet. I am struggling. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, I got ounce. Oh, that helped, but oh, it's not it's enough. So close. <sighs> Man, that one was tough. Yeah, that was tough. Uh, we were pretty close. We get nine out of 20 on that one. The L, uh, L no, as they say <laughs> occasionally. Your winner is Quiet I Am Gaming. Ow. 13 stars in level number eight. Uh, Sports Talk Gaming did not get on the board, so falls all the way off the podium to fourth. Your top three with quiet imjf downs at 61 stars after a best level eight of 19 stars dungeon master kj had seven stars in the final round get back on the podium one better than sports Doc gaming and sizz and myself hefty goof as we are in talking third person day uh, ends up finishing <laughs> out the uh, caboose crew all to ourselves so 
We tried. Nice. We tried. <laughs> L yes is quiet. I am gaming. Um, do you have anything that you need to work on specifically in Rocket League? Um, you know, I got the goal celebration that I like. I even got enough of the free season challenges to earn my season reward. So if anything, some saves. Okay. But I'm here to support if there's anything you want. I got extra mode list. Do you want to try hockey? Hockey, rocky, yeah, let's, rocky, hockey. Let's, let's do it. Rockety, hockety. Rockety, rockety, hockety. So, <laughs> uh, chat, a couple of uh, things to get to. If you haven't already answered our topic of the day, you can now. It is talk in third person day. So, Hefty Goof wants you to talk in third person and give your best sentence in third person. You can also mark that off your bingo card if it was on there as well. Um, and what are your weekend plans as well? We'd love to know. And you can find us on Discord at gamingmorningshow.tv slash where to find GMS. We'll have the Gaming Morning Show Morning Gaming Renews coming up in just a little bit. We'll also give you um, Billy Thundergun Teammate of the Match Award winner as well. So stick around. We have that coming up on this edition of Gaming Morning Show. I don't think you and I are scheduled to get together this weekend, but we are eligible to get together this weekend. You're not mm -hmm. going anywhere, right? No, not going anywhere. Don't have anything big planned this weekend that I know of. There is the first Formula One race on Sunday, though. I forgot to bring that up on uh, in sports yesterday. You sports. messaged me and said, oh, it's race week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pra free practice one was this morning. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I was That's exciting. listening to some podcasts on the way up and they were talking about how they're going to do their Formula One coverage for one outlet. I think I was listening to one for The Athletic. And even then, it didn't dawn on me that it's actually happening this weekend. It's yeah. nuts. I had March in my head, but nowhere did it click that it's March now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that means there's a race. So it's uh, exciting. Yeah. Uh, Paula goes, it's what week? It's race week. Uh, Formula One first race is where? Good question. It's probably where they've been doing testing, right? Mm-hmm. Which is definitely Bahrain. That sounds right. Did I say that correctly? Hold on, I'm accepting terms and services. Yeah, Bahrain. <laughs> Just like we thought. <laughs> yes, race cars <laughs> week. Race cars week this week, Apollo. Yes. <laughs> Um, and, did you and, know that there's uh, a Las Vegas race this year? I did know that. Excited. Do you know what the race uh, cars say? No. They say... Uh, when I was in Las Vegas, they were advertising for reserving your rooms for mm -hmm. the Las Vegas race. We did not succeed, Chad, in convincing our family that that's where we need to spend Thanksgiving. And it seems silly that they're advertising to reserve your room because the last I checked, everything is booked out for that weekend already. Like, I don't think there's a possibility to go at this point, even if one wanted to. I was going to say, maybe they mean watch the race from one of our hotel room TVs, but even those you probably couldn't get. Yeah. I think I think everything is booked up that weekend. <laughs> I like Dungeon Master KJ. Meow. <laughs> That's what cats sound like in race cars. Uh, after the show is over, uh, since we are staying in the same hotel, do you want to go down and get breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a little bit early. I'll save our spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to say nice shot and okay, if I remember correctly. I don't uh, think okay, I okay and in my quick chat. Okay or no problem, I think are the two. So I said nice shot for no reason. Yep. I was kind for no reason. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Now, remember, chat, when we do Achievement Hunter and we're actually playing the game for real, I can't look at anything you say. So now is a perfect time to let Hefty 
to know anything that you don't want Hefty to know. Oh, you had a goal there with that person. Yeah, I sure it. did. That guy saved it. <laughs> that silly wizard chair in between. Hefty's frustrated. <laughs> Especially after I wish I'm gonna have to like put out the whole first game because it was so <laughs> nuts how well I played. <laughs> Hefty was impressed with himself. Is this where all the awfulness of us talking in third person is gonna come out? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hey, we had a we had an opponent who joined us in the This Is Rocket League. Oh yeah, two of them. Nice. <laughs> they get it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to my settings and find okay. You only need one or the other though. Oh, it is okay. Yeah. So you can just stick with no problems. That's no problem. <laughs> I was almost there. Like bon they were just more there. Celebrator yesterday. <laughs> Sean was whoa, almost there. The orange team didn't care. Yeah, uh, Last of Us we can watch together on Sunday. Yeah. An ultimate episode. Well, if uh, Saturday doesn't get too late, then maybe we could get together and work on uh, a little bit of GM's fudge. I, I know I'm I'm working fairly late, but maybe when I'm done, no one else has got your attention. Talk to the wives. That'd be fun. I forgot I have back buttons on this Animal Crossing <laughs> <laughs> Switch controller. I just jumped by hitting my back right button. We're tied 1 1. Will we go to overtime, chat? That sure feels like an overtime game so far. I want to give a big shout out to. Uh, mobile hotspot today crushing it <laughs> uh, the worst game i've had so far oh. is your uh game that you missed in the last huh? hour although i will admit that our uh, frame rate could be better with the actual game Which I, I will have to talk to the folks at Restream and ask the question. It's supposed to be a 720p 30 frame per second you know, input. And so if it's capable of doing that, it should be able to not miss any frames. But I think we found that it doesn't love the uh, faster pace stuff. Look at me, I can go all fast and stuff in my little window. Yeah, it just doesn't like. It's the Switch. You should just buy a PlayStation 5. And just bring it with me on the road. Yeah. Don't use it at home, though. That's just for traveling. <laughs> I, I go, I was like, I got a, a new PlayStation that I... I was able to start using it on the road. Oh, that's cool to use it at home. No, it's my travel station. It's a, it's a travel PlayStation 5. I'll have to get another one for at home. Our teammate respawned from the demo right in front of me. And I knocked him all over the place. So. All right, we can play one more time, and then Sean's going to go for the rest of the day, and then I will take you all the way till the end of the show. So thank you for being with us. It's been a lot of fun uh, to do GMS 
from the road and uh all things considered i'm pretty happy with it especially because we got adjoining rooms because after all you know that's what matters so. hmm. i don't have a ready up um i think you're readied up already okay because it's searching i'm already ready ready i think we're okay yeah ah there it is Uh, good luck with your Dollar General clearance sale, Melby. That's some good weekend plans. Nice. I'm going to re-celebrate National Old Stuff Day today. As you should. <laughs> oh, yeah, we never even finished out the days of the day either. That's something worth mentioning. Oh, match canceled. Boo. Here we go. Let's see if that one works. Uh, we told you about many of the days of the day. Here are the others that we haven't shared with you yet up until this point. Today uh, is also Peach Blossom Day, Navy Reserve's birthday, Simplify Your Life Day. What if cats and dogs had opposable thumbs? Question mark day. <laughs> World Day of Prayer and World Hearing Day as well. Huh? Oh, I was saying it's World Hearing Day. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I, I understand why you didn't hear me. It's International Ear Care Day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that made everything better. I, <laughs> I have a great day. Uh, thank you, KJ, for being along for the ride today. Always great to have you uh, in the audience and part of the FHC. I hope your weekend was pretty okay. Uh, we are excited, though, next week, uh, as far as I, I can see on my calendar right now, in the home studios all weekend long, so, or all week long. So that be fun. <laughs> I hit the puck using our teammate. <laughs> nice. Nice, and you scored, too. I sure did. Yeah, no matter how well GMS on the road goes, and especially even like when we're at um, venues and such, I'll, I'll always enjoy it, but I like being in the home studio. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone said no problem. I think we all have the same challenge. <laughs> <laughs> or this is Rocket League. No problem. Nice. Nice. I can't wait till I get the celebration. It's so much better than the lava. Oh, it's great. I'm a big fan of it. Especially on on, I will on this level where it's all icy already. Yeah. I will trade you, though, uh, the ice one for uh, Splash. Oh, man, I would do anything to get Splash. Do anything for Splash. The goal celebration's awesome. Yeah, we had one game yesterday that had a Splash uh, cameo. The, the only time I don't mind getting scored on. Right. Oof. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sean's doing a great job keeping me from scoring on her. So. so. I like how they let you score, them, but they always stop my shots. <laughs> you just fell right in front of me. <laughs> I was like, hi, missed you. I just dropped in. Ooh. Oh, it was so close. Ah, also very close. This is really All right, we got one more uh, game of this, and then we're gonna send you the gaming morning show, morning gaming news. We had a fun name of the morning that we'll share with you as well. 
I am excited to see if Gamefly uh, sends me uh, either Call of Duty so I can see if Gunfight is actually on there to play with you, or uh, they might send me NHL 23. So. Ooh. Either way, sounds like fun. We got a chance to play uh, NHL 23 on the uh, PlayStation 5 this past week. In fact, I think we played that Monday night, Sunday night, something like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I really, I've always liked hockey games, but especially now, like, they're just beautiful. Our teammate's driving me nuts. Oh, come on, teammate. I tried to fly and get it. You almost had it. I'm surprised all this ice is still here with how hot my car is. Jeez, <laughs> that guy will not let me get it centered. This is like when you're on the freeway and someone's driving the exact same speed as you. <laughs> like we're going to the same spot each time. Get in there. Ugh. I was trying to run interference, but then no one was there for the puck. Cannot have another overtime loss. I say I didn't. I didn't get to see it live. But I got blowed up right before it was going to happen, so I kind of saw how it was going to work. <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Save. No. Ah, nice try. Pop it over your head. Yeah, I think that's my biggest complaint. I wish the the, the gameplay came across better. Cause we're you're missing some stuff. <laughs> I almost think it actually might look better coming out of OBS, which we can still do even with this you know, extra monitor setup. But... We had it, Sean. We yeah. It. yeah. Uh, everyone will be, be ready to say goodbye to Sean quickly. Sean gets out and has to go for the uh, breakfast that we're about to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. So close. All right, there you go. Now that is uh, some Rocket League achievement hunting, and we at least got two things done. We were able to get some of the uh, extra mode playlist for me done. So thank you for doing that, Sean. Indeed. Uh, all right, everyone say goodbye to Sean. Sean's got to go to work. Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, Eagle Eagle, Math Eagle. We'll miss you. Goodbye. I'm Hefty Goop. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. This is a gaming morning show. Uh, we are going to wrap things up, and we're going to send you somewhere. If you're watching via the raid, we also have our clip of the day, takeaways that are pretty okay coming up in just a bit as well. Uh, that was some nice rocket. And thank you very much, Quiet I'm Gaming. I, Hefty Goof, talk, talking in third person, appreciate the uh, positive feedback that you just gave me. Hefty Goof appreciates it very, very much. Uh, last chance to do what I just did, which is talk in third person as it is talk in third person day. So you can do that for us. Right now it is time for the Gaming Morning Show Morning Gaming Renews. Uh, we also ask, what are your takeaways that are pretty okay? What is something you learned from today's morning radio show that plays games? We'll share those with you coming up in just a little bit. All right, uh, looking at the video game headlines you need to know for this Friday and heading into your weekend, according uh, to uh, sports.gaming and ons good polygon mario day 
has a quote choose one and quote switch bundle that comes with a free game apparently because march 10th is also known as mario day you can get uh one of the cool mario style uh, switch bundles that are available so if you want to pick one of those up if you haven't already uh, maybe you don't have a switch at all which again is uh today's the six-year anniversary of the switch uh, you can pick that up with a free game as well according to ons good of polygon mario kart 8 deluxe booster course pass wave 4 <laughs> arrives next week holy cow that's a whole bunch of words from ryan dinsdale of ign but one thing i do remember hearing about this is in addition to many many other tracks or courses that are being added from past mario kart games there's also a new never before played one from uh, yoshi's island so if you want to check that out that comes with the mario kart 8 deluxe booster course pass wave 4 arrival and last but not least play date update showcase will feature new games and more next week from wesley leblanc of game informer as we mentioned the play dates this itty bitty little video game machine that has a crank on the side and everything is side loaded and i believe uh, sean mentioned that maybe many of the games if not all of the games are free so if you haven't had a chance to check that out uh, you can wesley leblanc gave us more information and out today, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is out for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I remember seeing uh, some people play that yesterday, uh, whether that was early access or going to buy it and show it today. So that's one option. And then also our name of the morning goes to Patch Quest, which is out today for PC. Patch Quest is our name of the morning. Congratulations to uh, that GMS. Name of the morning. It could become name of the month if you're a Patreon subscriber. You can win it with part of our Patreon exclusive name of the month giveaway. And we will tell you name of the month for the month of February coming up early next week on Gaming Morning Show. Find out more about Patreon at patreon.com slash gaming morning show. All right. Uh, I need to get a set up with uh, the clip of the day, which I will bring to you momentarily. And what are your takeaways that are pretty OK? What is something you learned from this morning radio show that plays games? I definitely would like to know that as well. Um, yeah, it's been a fun show. Uh, we had birthdays earlier in the show. Of course, uh, I misidentified uh, the mom from, uh, what's the name of that show from, um, modern family. I, uh, I read their name. I think is Julie Brown and it's Julie Bowen has a birthday today. Catherine Waterston uh, also has a birthday today, uh, which is pretty okay. So uh, that's neat. Uh, we've also had Jessica Beale's birthday, Natalie Kelly, and Camila uh, Camila Cabello has a birthday as well today. So those are some of the uh, birthdays uh, from at least the celebrity birthday list. Tomorrow is also audience member Shark Douglas's birthday. So uh, that is something to relay to you as well. All right. Uh, we had a lot of fun on the road this week. We started out the uh, week on the road we were in Seattle as well, and Sean and I broadcast the show from the closet. Uh, today, we're asking the show from the same hotel room as well, which is uh, super beneficial. You know, very convenient being so close to one another uh, and not having to travel a whole lot. So I did appreciate that over the course of today's show as well. Uh, takeaways that are pretty okay. Let's give you your Billy Thundergun Teammate of the Match Award winner. Uh, many good performances today. I think uh, the person that I saw who... Uh, probably answered the call of talking in third person the best. I mean, Element of One did a nice job. Uh, Downs did a good job as well early. Even Brendan, who didn't really want to, our ambassador of the Final Hour crew, did give us a quick uh, one-liner when it came to the uh, talk in third person day. But I think Earthling Gaming gave it the best wholehearted attempt. So today's Billy Thundergun, teammate of the match award, We'll go to Earthling Gaming uh, for your outstanding performance in chat. Congratulations to Earthling Gaming for being one of life's, life's winners today. All right, takeaways that are pretty okay after the clip of the day. The clip of the day. Hey, look, it's the clip of the day. Toot toot. Buckethead, I think, is a well-known guitarist. Slash. Slash, there you go. And blower. He should be uh, a trumpet player. 
Did you know uh, George Miller, uh, the uh, producer director, is uh, also there? You go. We're talking about famous, uh, famous guitarists, and we got to that one. Uh, I'm gonna try to load one more because I, I had hoped that I got it right. We have to clip these in a little bit different way when we're on the road, and so I didn't find exactly the one that I wanted. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can find it really quick um, uh, by uploading another one because I, there's one thing that Sean did today that I found very interesting. So uh, we're going to give you a bonus. It's a bonus clip of the day. A bonus clip of the day. Hey, look, it's the bonus clip of the day. Ian, this is not green screen <laughs> or Sean's, which is also, literally where he is. <laughs> not green screen. <laughs> Whose room is better? <laughs> uh, well, thank you for making me feel not so alone as a fellow Seattle Ontarian. <laughs> Sounds like a political party. <laughs> that was the one. That was the one I was trying to find us was the clip of Sean also being in the neighboring hotel room. Keep in mind, chat, I am not on a green screen. This is an actual hotel room in which I am, but it totally looks like I'm in just some generic setting. Uh, from some sort of like Getty images or something like that. All right. Uh, what are your takeaways that are pretty okay? Uh, Quiet I'm Gaming said six years of Switch. Holy cow, time flies. So that is one of the takeaways from today's show. Any other takeaways that are pretty okay? Uh, we mentioned uh, Mel B got a coupon for Bath and Body Works for a free body care item. That's a pretty good takeaway. Uh, Apollo said earlier, uh, race cars when we said it's race week and then we had a pretty good uh, showing when it came to words on stream as well all right uh thank you for being here we are going to send you if you're watching on twitch to forgiven john 316 who is on today uh forgiven john has one of the most impressive video game setups for anyone who uh, enjoys just kind of like stream aesthetics so very very cool if you'd be so kind as to say good morning uh from gms we truly would appreciate that uh and then we're going to send you over there we'll be back on monday as we are monday through friday 6 to 9 a.m pacific time on facebook gaming twitch youtube and at gaming morning show.tv thanks for the show even though i was only here for the fhc hey we're just happy that you were able to make it i'm happy that gms on the road all things considered it went pretty okay today uh, we'll see you again on Monday for Sean Frost and for everyone who made it possible and for you for being here in the audience. Have a great rest of your day. Great weekend. This has been Gaming Morning Show.